762 gun racks. In this video I will go over the features and assembly of the horizontal wall rack. This rack comes in two styles and several sizes. The WR has a vertical spacing of 7 inches and the WRS as shown here has a vertical spacing of 8 inches which allows more room for scoped firearms. Both are 21 and a half inches wide when assembled and four and a half inches deep with two inch deep notches. The notches on the two brackets are offset by one and a quarter inches vertically to allow firearms to sit relatively level. The WR style is available with one to seven notches and the WRS with up to six notches. The racks are made of three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood which has 13 solid birch layers making it one of the strongest and most stable materials available. The racks can be purchased unfinished as these are or stained in a wide choice of colors and sealed with tongue oil. Three quarter inch wide self adhesive black felt is also available to cover the edges of the barrel brackets. If the rack is purchased unfinished I recommend staining or painting it prior to assembly. To assemble the rack determine which direction you would like the firearms to face. Muzzles right or muzzles left. I'll assemble this three notch WRS rack with the muzzles facing right. Turn the pieces face down and be sure to swap sides with the brackets so they end up correct when the rack is turned back over. The cross dowels have a slot in one end which lines up with the threaded hole. These slots should be visible when the cross dowels are placed in the holes in the back of the cross braces and are used to orient the cross dowels correctly with the screwdriver if necessary. Insert two cross dowels into a pair of holes at one end of one of the cross braces. Hold the cross brace up to the bracket and insert two connector bolts and thread them into the cross dowels leaving them slightly loose. Repeat this for the other three connections. Once all the bolts are in place, tighten each pair with the provided hex wrench making sure the back and the edge of the cross brace is flush with the edge of the bracket. Mounting hardware is not provided with the rack because it's impossible to anticipate every situation. The cross braces should be pre-drilled for the mounting screws so the threads don't bind in the rack before it is drawn tight to the wall. Four screws into two studs is recommended, but if the rack only crosses one stud, then two screws through each cross brace into the stud along with drywall anchors on the other side of the rack will be sufficient. When choosing a rack and its location, keep in mind that there needs to be some space, typically about three inches below the rack as the toe of the stock in the bottom firearm will hang below the bottom of the rack. There also needs to be space above the rack to be able to remove the top firearm. To purchase this and many other types of gun racks, click the link here or in the description. Thank you.